Hey guys, what's up? By Sack the Tron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with the next video, and today's topic is miners. Miners are completely back. Um, Town Hall 10, 11, 12, but especially Town Hall 11 and double especially Town Hall 12. They are kind of making their way to the meta um, very, very quickly. And um, I'm not sure exactly what it is. Um, in the recent updates, but um, there has been some adjustments to them and they are a very viable option. Part of it's just the base building. Bases are more susceptible to it and they will adjust, I think, to defend it. So this video, we're gonna be talking about the keys to the minor attack strategy, looking at some good replays at Town Hall 10, 11, 12 as examples. Um, Town Hall 12, first and foremost, as we look at this first replay here, um, it's all about, I guess, any town hall level. In general, for the miners, it's all about keeping them spread out while keeping them on defenses, not on trash buildings, storages, stuff on the outside. So it's a balance of keeping them spread out enough, but not too spread out. One of the things that makes them so powerful at Town Hall 12 is the, um, the Giga Tesla or the suicide town hall thing. When it explodes there, um, the miners duck down quick enough to avoid it. And that's something no other troop can do. Your balloons are going to get killed by it. Um, your hogs will, assuming there's no warden uh, tome to protect them. And yes, I said tome, not tomb. Oh, I, I agree. It's okay. Let's move beyond that. Um, but uh, my, my point is this is one of the unique troops that you can get away with using the warden's ability elsewhere as needed. Um, assuming there's not like a weird skeleton spell that keeps them up, but I haven't really been seeing that happen, even if people do put skeleton spells uh, by the town hall, because the miners tend to duck down anyway and avoid it. So, um, like I said, you'll notice the key is keeping those miners spread out enough that they aren't just going defense to defense and they have to go quick enough that they don't get targeted for that long because if you're just if they're going you know one two defenses at a time eventually the dps will be too much you can't keep them healed forever it's a time issue um they're vulnerable you got to get them to the base quickly but by the, at the same time if they're too spread out you can't have them uh, wandering to the outside you have to keep them funneled inside the base taking out trash buildings it's not as important as you might think as in terms of how many like storages are in the base, if you count them, because um, this base there's you know several storages by that inferno tower. Um, it obviously helps if it's more defenses inside the base, so your miners are almost exclusively targeting defenses. That's a good thing, but um, a few extra storages inside the base isn't going to be a huge problem as long as the miners are spread just the right amount. Also, the wall wrecker. You know, it, it doesn't matter if it opens up walls, but it does a nice job tanking. So you might as well use it uh, if you can, if it's the right side of the base to use it on and get some value there. Um, so the queen walks are a very nice thing to do along with it. This was a weird one because the queen actually came in with the miners. Oftentimes you will, uh, you'll you'll see the queen walk one side, the king clear out the other side, and the miners go through. Now this is a good base for it because it's kind of a natural... Um, funnel through the base, the queen takes off the top part, and then there's a very nice split, so miners taking out this area, miners up for the inferno tower, the queen helping as well. Actually, not even a lot, not really any miners up there, I guess, mainly just the queen, but that's fine. Um, the push is good with the uh, the um, the wall wrecker, and loses quite a few to spring traps, but has the warden's ability, doesn't get great value from that either, actually. Um, but it goes to show the power of the strategy if it's able to crush the base even with a few hiccups. By the way, the P.E.K.K.A. is a nice touch along the outside. Um, I, I've I, I, Some people use it too much, and I won't say who, but they know who they are. Um, but in general, the P.E.K.K.A. is a nice touch because it'll take out defenses, it'll tank. It has both the damage and the hit points. So if there's a lot of defenses on the outside, in addition to your king, you might want to consider a P.E.K.K.A. for certain areas of the base to kind of help clear out and keep the, the miners inside the base because that is very important, um, keeping them spread out, but also inside the base, taking out defenses. They're not helping you if they're on the outside targeting uh, gold mines and stuff like that. Um, let's move on to a couple uh, 11, Town Hall 11 ones, and it's pretty similar. Um, once again, queen walks are nice. 
because the way that bases are built at Town Hall 11 and Town Hall 12, uh, this one maybe not as much so as others, but they tend to be a little bit more spread out because of the, the warden's ability getting so much value if it's too compact. So uh, this allows for a lot of these queen walks along the side of the base without having to really spend much and you can get great value. So that's why you see the queen walks with the miners, especially at Town Hall 11 and uh, Town Hall 12. This one, the queen took on a lot of damage right away and I think she will go down because the healers switch. But um, the important thing is that the miners are going through, they're relatively spread out. Now, things that can ruin the miners um, is if they get aggroed by the queen all at once or like they all bunch up on like a skelly trap or the king. Uh, you'd be surprised how that can just destroy an attack if they all get into one big group and never leave that group. So it's important to, even if you think you're spreading them out at the beginning, they can easily group up if you don't have like um, very solid deployment in mind. It's not just like a three finger drop. You got to consider where where there's more DPS or more hit points, how long it's going to take to get through that section, and you got to deploy them evenly enough so they go through as in one wave. If one side's too quick, it might get targeted, um, and your miners might all fall into one group. That's what you want to avoid as much as possible. Don't be afraid to heal multiple groups at once because you want them to be spread out. Uh, that's one of the keys of this this attack strategy that we're going to be talking about. So anyway, the healers switch onto the miners, which is kind of a nice uh, touch. And you can see how many are left up at the end of this attack. Crush the base. Um, seems like it's very rare that this, uh, like, barely three stars. It seems like it either kind of flops completely or it crushes the base. It's kind of a weird attack strategy. Whereas, like, the witch bowler, so often it's just like there's that one witch left up at the end and it's always so close. Um, so it's kind of weird how this one differs in that regard. Um, one more Town Hall 11 one. Once again, uh, has five healers for the the queen. And um, this is a little bit of a lower, like a tier one, I guess, Town Hall 11. But it has the eagle. Um, has a few defenses upgraded, I think. Maybe not. Um, but this definitely would have worked, I think, against a base of, of max level. Uh, so drops down heroes on both sides. Like I said, the wall wrecker. Might as well use it tank a little bit then you can have some miners come out of it or hogs hogs coming out of the wall wrecker is not bad either um i'm kind of a fan of that as well and i think this attack uh there's hogs in it so you guys will see what i mean in just a moment but um like i said queen can get some great value on these bases they're a little bit more spread out um so she's doing her thing up top the king with the ability always a few wizards is a good touch to use on the king uh to back him up and keep him moving through and then uh, hogs come out, and you can see there is a rage as well. And those hogs just tear through some of these defenses, and they get the value of the rages and the heals. So, I mean, there's already enough miners. Might as well bring some hogs to get on those defenses even quicker um, than the miners might otherwise do. Um, so it's a nice touch if you have a lot of miners. And um, there's going to be like a big group of defenses like the Eagle, Inferno Towers, stuff like that. And you can get the rage and the heal on those hogs. They'll do some work for you. Um, so crushed this base. We'll move on to some Town Hall 10s. You guys might be wondering, you know, defensive clan castle, where does this all stand? Because it's, it's tricky. At Town Hall 12, you sometimes have the Baby Dragon Hound, which can be poisoned, but at the same time, uh, it's a little bit sketchy sometimes trying to kill the Baby Dragon with just one poison. So that's kind of a risk you might have to take if, it's, if, if there are some some CC troops like that. Now, one thing you can do is bring um, a little surprise in your uh, your wall record. Let me find the right base here before we move on with that point. Uh, 28, I think. Yeah, 28. Um, so you can sometimes bring a, like a Valk if it's a tough ground CC or something. You can bring, um, I've seen people bring a baby dragon as part of the CC. Um, there might be some air traps, but maybe not if you're not by air defenses or anything. And the baby dragon hops out. It, or immediately it's the, it gets the like the rage effect because it's the only air troop in the area. And then you can uh, take out you know a baby dragon, if a witch, if needed, with that baby dragon um, in your CC. I guess the main thing you have to worry about is maybe a bunch of Valks or a baby dragon or like a big dragon. Those are probably the main concerns that might take out your miners, the air troops and the Valks with their DPS. 
Um, so it helps to maybe bring something in the wall wrecker if you know it can get far enough and kind of be there when the CC troops are attacking the miners. Um, sorry about the uh, notifications. That one stuck. Okay. Um, I should have put the Do Not Disturb on, but a little bit of a throwback to me for getting to put on Do Not Disturb. Anyway, at Town Hall 10, we don't see the Queen Walks as much. Town Hall 10 bases tend to be a little more compact in general, a little more anti-queen walk, typically not as much value. You kind of want to go mass minor, although we will we will look at an example that does have a queen walk, talk about why. But um, oftentimes it's these kind of square-ish bases. Now, don't be confused that you don't always want to do it on a square base. It's not the walls that necessarily matter as much. It's what you can clear out with your queen and your king. Can you leave... Um, a nice uh, spread for your miners, but is it is it also easy to keep the trash separated from the defenses inside the base? In this case, the king and the queen were both able to create a great funnel on either side, but sometimes there's going to be trash that your king can't reach on one side, your queen can't reach on one side, the base might be funky, there might be like a weird um, uh, like little inlet where the, uh, the miners might get drawn out or something, so you just got to always be careful um, about what bases you hit with this strategy. Last attack here is one of theirs. Um, I wanted to show it because it was a nice uh, Town Hall 10 Queen Charge minor attack. And I do mean Queen Charge, not just a Queen Walk. Uh, she's going to go straight towards the, uh, the defensive king there. And um, this base a little bit more spread out, a little bit more Town Hall 11, 12-ish in that it has those like separate compartments that aren't like connected by walls, uh, which makes it easier to do a queen charge on and uh, the miners will work, work just fine as well. So queen's gonna come in, get some good value. We'll fast forward just a little bit here as she goes through this walk. And then the king I believe is used up at 12 o'clock there. Nice wizard on the king as well. Um, she will have to deal with the hound CC. Um, so keep in mind, if he was just using the heroes, um, could have just poisoned the loon and not had to deal with the hound. But then there would be too much base left up. It would be too um, spread out. The miners would be too thin. It needs to be a little bit more uh, compact. Maybe the width of like two heal spells is the an ideal uh, spread for your miners to have to deal with. So the king comes in. He can clear out this entire row. Queen gets that um, wizard tower. So basically what's being left is just this, um, we got one, two, three, a little bit of a gap, and like four-ish uh, rows of defenses or columns of defenses, I guess. And, oops, kind of fast forwarded there. Uh, freeze on the queen as well, which was interesting. Maybe did not make the miners aggro as much. I think there was a hog or two in the CC, which I like. And um, the healers switch nicely onto the miners. That's one of the benefits is, unless there's like an air defense bearing down, on your queen, even if she dies, she can, uh, the healers can switch onto the miners, which is a nice touch. So that's kind of some insurance on the queen walk there. But yeah, uh, crush this base. Guys, the miners are very powerful at town hall 10, 11, and 12, but especially those top town hall levels. So look to use them. Uh, I know this wasn't the most in depth guide on what bases, what deployment. I'm still figuring them out to some extent too. But I hope I can share some ideas with you guys and get you thinking about how to use these miners. Until next time, thanks for watching uh, as we fast forward to the end here. See you guys later. Bisectatron out.